The Pinnacle Awards. Proper medication use is an important issue cutting across all areas of healthcare, impacting pharmacists, physicians, and most importantly, patients. Morbidity and mortality associated with medication use continues to be a significant public health problem. Every year, an estimated $177 billion is spent on critical, preventable, drug-related problems. That's why the American Pharmacists Association Foundation's Quality Center established the Pinnacle Awards with the support of Wyeth. Pinnacle Award recipients are recognized for pioneering innovative ways to improve medication use in three key areas. Increasing the use of national treatment guidelines, improving patient adherence and outcomes, and enhancing collaboration among all members of the healthcare team. Many performance improvement opportunities are related to systems issues that can be addressed through quality management methods. Tonight, we honor those committed to medication use quality improvement and share their experiences so that all may benefit. Celester Flowers lives by the belief that if you treat people fairly and with respect, they'll reciprocate. I just thought that if I'm going to be a pharmacist, for example, uh, it's there to help other people. So giving back was as ingrained in my conduct as it was to get up on Sunday morning to go to Sunday school. Flowers graduated from Howard University in 1958 and moved to California after serving in the military. He worked as a pharmacist and spent months planning and saving to start his own business. In 1964, he opened The Apothecary, the first of what is now a chain of pharmacies in working class neighborhoods. So The Apothecary was intended to say, here's a pharmacy that sells nothing but medicines. We're experts in nothing but medicine. Within a few years, he founded Ramsell Corporation, based in Oakland, California, as a holding company for his successful community pharmacies. We hired, we trained, we promoted, we encouraged people out of that community. They know that community that I got to know as well as I do. Everything the good Lord made, tall, short, black, white, gay, straight, not sure, represent the men and women in Ramsell. We call ourselves a family. Flowers entered the public health arena in the 1970s, working as a pharmacy director on an independent contract with the Department of Mental Health to provide methadone treatment services in San Francisco's impoverished Western Edition neighborhood. He got to know the people a little bit better. He had to, he met the patients and talked to them and got a flavor for their lives. And in doing so, discovered an opportunity. Uh, at the time in San Francisco County, where a patient at that methadone clinic would receive their treatment, they would see a psychiatrist, but if that psychiatrist had issued them a prescription, they would have to leave the clinic and go to the other side of town, the San Francisco General, to actually pick up the medication. Well, my father's idea, again, focusing on continuity of care, access to care, actually established the first outpatient prescription drug plan in San Francisco for their mental health department. With his reputation as a leader in the field already established, San Francisco County turned to Flowers and Ramsell to manage its AIDS drug assistance program. The model that my father developed in San Francisco in 1992 and 1993 is today the model that runs uh, the largest AIDS drug assistance program in the country. Along the way, Flowers realized the power of technology and began developing healthcare administration solutions. What's different about us is that we use very cutting edge technologies and we gain great economy of scale through use of those technologies to be able to deliver better quality of life to people at a low cost. Ramsell has grown to include four companies and a nonprofit organization called the Flowers Heritage Foundation. 10% of each company's profits are donated to the foundation, 
whose mission is to help those with HIV AIDS receive access to life-saving medications. The Flowers Heritage Foundation is the heart of Ramsell Holding Corporation, or the conscience for that matter. Uh, we are a vehicle or a reflection of Seal Flowers' commitment to giving back to the community. My mom, Carrie, taught me and oriented me to take care of the people that make themselves available, uh, that in turn take care of you. This is Carrie's dream. Giving back is what we're supposed to do. That's a corporate responsibility that I embrace with all my heart. Sil, in my view, is unique because he's bright, he's competent, and he's socially sensitive. And he can articulate equally with people of all levels of society. My grandmother would say that Sil has a good heart, and a good heart glows, and people can't miss that. And I see that in Sil every time I, I'm in his presence. It's not only his amazing sense of humor, but it's the way he's a, he has an ability to connect to almost every person he comes in contact with, no matter what age, sex, color, race, creed, you name it. He has that innate ability, and that's almost magical. Um, I think he really recognizes and appreciates um, where he's come from, the road that he's traveled, and, you know, it's like every day is, you know, kid in a candy store where you get to, you know, really reap the benefits of, of all that he's worked for and appreciate what he has going on around him and the people that are in his life. And um, so he's, he's complex, yet simple. Um, but, you know, he's a, he's a caring man, um, a proud man, and I'm proud to have him as my father. Sil has been a mentor, he's resourceful, and an innovator. What I admire most about Sil is his dedication to service and his ethical values and serving the community that has served him for over 40 years. For his many significant contributions to the safe distribution and accessibility of medications, the APHA Foundation honors Celeste Flowers with a 2009 Pinnacle Award.